You must have seen retinoids in drug stores, heard about it on TV and listened to your best friend gush about it every time she rediscovers skincare. The retinol hype is real, but do you really know what retinol does? Do you really know why you are supposed to use it or why most dermatologists consider is, uh, it pure magic? Hi, I'm Dr. Jyoti Gupta, consultant dermatologist practicing in New Delhi and I will be telling you all about retinoids in this video. Retinoids exfoliates the upper layer, that is epidermis, which contributes to dead skin, minimizing dark spots and brightening the dull skin. It produces new collagen and helps in decreasing degradation of collagen and elastin, leading to thicker dermal layer, which gives smoothing and firming effect. It not only regulates oily skin, but also keeps pores from clogging, resulting in fewer blackheads, cysts and pimples. So in a nutshell, uh, it helps in preventing wrinkles, brightens dull skin, treats acne and fades dark spots. But before applying retinoids, you should know few things about it. Retinoids are a huge family of compounds derived from vitamin A. A drugstore anti-aging formula, for example, could contain retinyl palmitate, the weakest of the retinoids, or it could contain retinol, the next strongest and the most tolerable, or retinaldehyde, even the stronger one. Or you could ask your dermatologist to prescribe you even stronger retinoids like retinoin, which works faster and more effectively, but can also be extra irritating. So which retinoids to use? For that, you must take a consultation with your trusted dermatologist. But for beginners, one can use a very gentle retinol cream like retinyl palmitate for sensitive or dry skin or retinol for all other skin types, moving up to a higher strength formula after a year. Some people think uh, that retinols give result in 4-6 to six weeks, but this is not true. For over-the-counter retinol, it can take up to 6 months and with retinoin, it can take up to 3 months for full, uh, full results to be visible. There are some other retinoids like adapalene and tazarotene which are not used for anti-aging purpose but have mainly anti-acne or effect in psoriasis and should be used only after consulting your dermatologist. You should know what retinol is best according to your skin type. Try uh, retinyl palmitate for sensitive skin, retinol or retinaldehyde for normal skin or for oily skin. And uh, as far as strength go, many think it's best to jump right into the strongest formula, believing it's better or will uh, provide a faster result. This usually isn't the case and doing so can have a lot of annoying side effects. For uh, retinoids, building a tolerance will create better result. Uh, think of it as if you are to, uh, taking up uh, running, you wouldn't start with a marathon, would you? Using too much of the product can often cause undesirable effects like peeling and dryness. The recommended amount is about a pea size drop for the entire face. Often daily use is a goal, but you are, you'll still reap the benefits by using it at a few times a week too. Um, how fast uh, the results happen also depend on the strength and the type of retinoid. Many people worry that the use of retinoids will make their skin more sensitive in the sun. Uh, retinoids break down in the sun, making it unstable and less effective. This is why they are sold in metal tubes or opaque containers and are recommended for uh, use at night. Retinoids can make your skin extra sensitive to the sun, causing sunburn. So load up on uh, SPF 50 or higher each morning. Try not to use products around eyes, corner of the nose, mouth corner. The product can uh, collect over there and can cause excessive irritation. There are many ways to start the product application. I recommend using it on dry skin after face wash. Use it for one week only for one hour, then wash it off. And if there is no irritation, you can start using on a full night basis. You should always put a moisturizer after retinoid application. If you have a very sensitive skin, then a sandwich technique where you can put a large amount of moisturizer before and after retinoid application can also be done. If you're not to tolerating it well, then you can upgrade by using it once a week, then twice a week for two weeks, then thrice a week for three weeks and so on. Many people do ask me uh, that who can use retinoids. So the right age to use retinoids is your late 20s or early 30s. However, if you're getting fine lines or open pores or discoloration, an earlier usage is completely justified. Many women use retinoids unknowingly uh, in their anti-aging regime when planning to conceive. 
uh, retinoids should be discontinued during that period of time. Retinoids can also be combined with vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, glycolic acid, which can be used alternatively in daytime with retinoids in the nighttime. If you are interested in treating or taking preventive measure for wrinkles, fine lines, pigmentation, scarring and more, then it's time to start the magic cream.